guys, welcome to a Clary Tale and welcome to this Disney haul. So much Disney merch to show you. Also Apple, Bath and Body Works, Target, Under Armour. So let's go through it all. Let me show you the amount of bags I have got and loads more over there as well. So I'm going to take everything out of the bag so that there's no more rustling and I can show you everything that I got. I'll start with non-Disney, finish with the Disney and let's go, let's have a look at everything. Let's start with Bath and Body Works because it's only a small one. I just got one because it was actually a day where all the soaps were only 2 95 and it is the blueberry donut soap very excited to try this it smelled amazing in the store can't really smell it now let's wait let's have a go oh that smells so good so yeah it was only 2.95 usually these are 7.50 so really pleased with that let's move on to the most expensive purchase apple I picked up Simon and I some AirPods. AirPods? AirPods. AirPods. So these were $179 each plus tax. So these are the third generation AirPods. So they're not the ones with the noise cancellation. Simon's going to love these. I'm going to wrap them up for him for his birthday and I can't wait as well. I'm going to get these out for the flight home. Wireless headphones are just game changing so hopefully these will be great there's not much else that's not disney actually on our first day we went to premium outlets and we went to the under armor there and i picked simon up a new rucksack this black under armor one it's so smart he's gonna love it he doesn't like anything too gaudy so this is perfect it was 65 but i got it for 25 dollars so yeah, he's gonna love that. I'll show you some food and drink bits that I got from Target, but I've actually probably eaten and drunk most of it. Um, but I found these funky Kit Kat blueberry muffin. Actually, there's a bit of a blueberry theme, isn't there? <laughs> I found Kit Kats from, these were from Walmart actually. So I got an extra one for Simon to try as well. Some different flavored Mountain Dew, flaming Hot. Not sure how I'm gonna feel about that and we've got the Baja Mango. Really looking forward to trying that. I'm gonna have this today. Uh, I've already had the pineapple. They had a Voodoo Mountain Dew for Halloween, which I've had. It tasted like Skittles. That was really, really nice. Same as last year's actually, it was really good. Uh, but yeah, I've drank everything else because it is our last day as I'm filming this. It's our last full day. So I've had to get everything drunk and eaten <laughs> before we go tomorrow. We love Duncan in our house and I've picked up a Duncan Midnight Dark Roast coffee. So that should be good. It smells really strong. My dad's been trying this uh, Joffrey's one. It is the Minnie Mouse Raspberry Mocha. He's actually had most of it. Medium roast. And he got that in Joffrey's at Disney Springs. The smell of this one is unbelievable. I wish I liked coffee because I'm sure I would have liked that. Coca-Cola have a new flavor called Dream World. It tastes like dreams, apparently. It is really nice. It's very sweet. Um, we got a crate, so I've just got a couple to take home for Simon. I actually think that's it for non-Disney. Everything else is Disney. And uh, so let's start with Disney, but not official Disney. We got these from one of the souvenir shops. Uh, there's a shop with a wizard on the front. It's where we go to the Duncan as well. I'll put a picture here. It's such a good souvenir shop if you're ever wanting maybe unofficial Disney merch. But my mum picked up these mugs for herself. Um, one with full of Mickeys. And then this one, which is the 90 years of Mickey mug. And these were only, I think they were 7 99 for this. 11 99 for this one. I particularly love this. All the different styles of Mickey and it says in there, 90 years of Mickey. So in Basin, we picked up a couple of bath bombs. This is the intergalactic one. Inside this bath bomb is a little alien. Uh, so we've picked that up for my nephew. It smells incredible. And then this is the princess one. And when you put this into the bath, there is a ring inside, a princess ring, so they're gonna love those. We decided to pick up the Been There Starbucks mugs, and this is one of the mini ones. Let me show you, it is the Magic Kingdom one. You can see all the icons on there, and it's got 50 on it as well. There's a Dumbo too. It is so pretty, this one. 
This was $14.99 and you have to get them in the part themselves. Unfortunately though, they were sold out of the others. So we could only get the Magic Kingdom one. And it, we're really gutted because we did really want the Epcot one. But we'll see if they've got them in next time we visit. While we're doing mugs, I might as well finish the mugs off. I actually bought this today. I love this one so much. My friend Curtis had this, he posted it and I was so jealous. I love it so much, I had to get it. It is the 50th iridescent mug. This is 3D, I don't know if you can see that. They stick out a little bit. So you've got all the icons on there, all the characters, Tara Terra, Epcot, sorry, you can see the door. It is such a beautiful mug. Don't know if you can appreciate that, but it is beautiful. And it has got a little Dumbo, so that makes me very happy. Uh, this was $14.99. Oh, inside it says, the world's most magical celebration. And then the other mug I got, this is one I've not seen on social media before. Really simple and basic, but I love it. It is again 3D, it shows all the park icons. You've got the castle, Spaceship Earth, Tower of Terror, and you've got the Tree of Life there. And it's so cute. So yeah, the 3D, and then you've got this 3D line around here. I love that it's not too big as well, and this again was $14.99. So how good's that? I love it. That's all the mugs. Honestly, I'm gonna to need to get another cupboard for all these mugs at this rate. Um, this, my dad picked up from the Mexican Pavilion in Epcot yesterday, and it is a coaster. It's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. This was only $6.99 as well in the Mexican Pav. So yeah, I'm sure he'll love that. He'll probably put it in his study. This next item is also for my dad. He bought the Skyliner ornament. So this is what it looks like. And you've got Mickey and Minnie on that side, Goofy, there's Chip and Dale and Donald and Daisy on it as well. This was $19.99. And this is what it looks like. It's got a stand there, so that's very nice. It's gonna be lovely for Christmas. I bought this truck for my nephew. I'm gonna hide it away for Christmas for him, but he loved it and I just had to get it for him. How cute is that? He's gonna have so much fun playing with that. It's got a beautiful gold front and then it's got the 50th pattern and that was $24.99. This was the first thing that I bought. Almost forgot about it because it feels so long ago now. I bought the Magic Band Plus and I bought the Main Street Electrical Parade pattern. It has the snail on the front, Mickey there all glistening. You've got the turtle, the dragon. It's so good, I love this band. I nearly got just the plain one, but I'm so glad I went for a pattern. And it lights up, it vibrates. It is a little bit of a gimmick, but I love a Disney gimmick. So every time you go past the gold statues, they make a little noise and then this vibrates and it vibrates and lightens up every time you go through the turnstiles. I didn't actually use it for a firework evening. I didn't actually stay at any fireworks um, except tonight at the Halloween party. So what I'll do is I'll see what that looks like. I'll film that, that video will already be up. So we'll see how it works with the fireworks. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's so good, it's so clever, and even when you've been on a ride and then a picture has uploaded, it'll vibrate to tell you that there's a picture there. So I've really enjoyed having this. I know it's a little bit of an extra cost and it's an extra thing to charge, <laughs> but I've enjoyed it. So I'm not really a hat person. I don't own many hats, but when I saw this, I just had to get it. It is the Partners Statue. It is the iridescent color, so Sometimes this looks yellow, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's gold. So it's really good. I really, really like it. It's Nike and it just molds to your head better than any hat I've ever had. Let me show you. What do you think? <laughs> I really like it. I am zooming through this. We've only got a couple of things more. I'm ending with the biggest and the best, in my opinion, item. Uh, let's go to these next. I had a crazy thrill opening these Wishables. <laughs> it's 
so exciting. You don't know what they are. We spent about 15 minutes trying to find out, trying to guess all the characters. So in these wishables, you could get Dumbo, you can get Casey Jr., you could get Mrs. Jumbo, or you can get the stork. So I bought three. Well, originally I bought two, but I didn't get Dumbo, the one I wanted. So we went back and got some more. You might have seen the video. I actually did an unboxing of these um, on my Hollywood Studios day. So I'll put that below if, if you missed it. But these were what was inside. Timothy, you can buy him on his own, so you know what he's gonna be. So I bought him first very happy with timothy uh, these are all 14.99 as well by the way uh, so not the cheapest then casey jr this one is the easiest one to find it's the biggest and poofiest one so i was able to get that one really easily and then this one is the one i thought was dumbo we could feel the ears and we were like that's got to be Dumbo. But it's Mrs. Jumbo, and I'm fine with that. I love Mrs. Jumbo too, but I did want Dumbo. So I had to go back and try one more time, and I was terrified I was gonna get another Mrs. Jumbo, but I didn't. I got Dumbo, and not only that, I got the Chase, which is more rare, which is very exciting. So it's the Dumbo with the clown costume. And then I thought, do I try one more to get original Dumbo? I didn't risk it. I really, really want original Dumbo, but the thrill of all this and the stress, I just thought I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm really happy with this collection. How blooming cute are these? And it was just such, it's just such a great memory to have. Me, mum and dad all trying to feel for the right characters and not knowing and opening the bag together. I loved it so much. It was probably one of my favorite memories from that day. Um, possibly one of my favorite memories of the trip. So well worth it. And you will know how much I love Dumbo. It's my favorite film, my favorite character. So these mean a lot. Next up, pins. I do love a pin. I always try not to go too hard and buy too many pins because they do get expensive and I do have a lot, but I try and get one or two per trip just to try and signify that whole trip. I've got four. <laughs> Um, so I got the 50th Iridescent Castle. I got this because I just hadn't seen this one before. On my other two trips here during the 50th, this was the first time I saw this, so I had to get it. Then I got this one. I bought the 50th last time, but Mickey and Minnie were sold out. Uh, I got different characters, so I'm happy to have Mickey and Minnie in this this time. I am doing the Halloween party tonight so I wanted to get a Halloween pin to signify that. I went for Pluto because I love this new ghost character and I thought Pluto looked really cute there in his cauldron. Uh, they don't have the year on the pin this time, which is a shame, but hopefully it will look really good in my collection. My fourth pin isn't for me, so yay, actually it doesn't sound as bad as it is. So this pin is for my friend who loves figment I had to get this for her. It's Figment with Epcot there in the background. It's a really cute pin actually. And then finally, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite items that I've bought this whole trip. I'm so glad I bought it. I really did um and ah. I put up on Instagram a little poll of whether I should get it or not. And you all said yes, you're all terrible influencers because I ended up getting it. I did think about it for a while. I came back to it and I just had to get it. It's absolutely stunning. And actually it wasn't too expensive. Right, are we ready? I got beautiful Spaceship Earth cookie jar. Isn't that incredible? It just glistens. It's so beautiful. Isn't it amazing? I am not gonna be using this as a cookie jar. It's just too special. This needs to be an ornament up high somewhere. It was $60, so not too bad. I just love it. They have a castle as well. They have a Magic Kingdom castle, but you all know how I feel about Spaceship Earth. I just had to get it. In person as well, it just looks so much better than the pictures I've seen of it. As soon as I saw it in real life, 
I just have to get it and it is everywhere it's in every shop it's in every park so it was it was calling to me <laughs> it just had to be bought i don't know how i'm gonna get it home wish me luck with that um but yeah i think that is everything i really hope you enjoyed seeing everything i've bought let me know below your favorite thing i bought whether you've bought any of these items i'm going to finish this video with something i did last haul that i did in december because i got so many people saying they would have liked to have won it's not a competition you don't have to do anything i'm not going to make you share or like or whatever but if you want to do those things please do and um, it's the 50th guide maps i picked up an extra set i've got a springs one this time as well um, so if you are interested in these part maps, just write a comment saying part maps so that I know it is something you would like and I'll choose one of you at random to get these. Preferably I would love to give these to someone who's not going to be able to make it for the 50th and um, just so that you have a little bit of the 50th celebrations at home. Obviously that can't be proven but I would love to give these to someone who isn't able to make it to the magic. So thank you so much for watching this haul. Thank you for watching this whole series because I think this will be the last video of this whole series. There should be a cruise series next, I believe. So I really hope you enjoy seeing those. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye! Make your memories, make your memories, take your pictures, it's made.